Today we're here to find out whether AI voice is truly at the level where it can start to fool people. It's, uh, this is Patrick Stewart. So everyone's gonna get a turn putting on a new voice and seeing what kind of character is hiding inside of them, just waiting to come out, thanks to AI. <laughs> oh no! There are a lot of fake trucks out there today. They may look tough on the outside, but they can barely handle a few bumps in the road. A real truck can take a beating. A real truck can stand up to the worst that Mother Nature can throw your way. If your truck ain't dripping wet with mud and scum, well then it ain't a truck, you piece of sh**. <laughs> <laughs> so, last time you saw me messing around with AI voices, I was breaking terms of service left and right. This is so sketchy. If, we, if I don't get your consent, we can't release this video. <laughs> because I might get banned from the service and who knows what else. Yes, I did get banned from using the service. <laughs> yes. Okay. Today, we have even more powerful software. If you thought there were ethical issues in that last video, <laughs> Pull your socks up. You're about to get into the deep end here, okay? The well, folks from Alter.ai reached out to us. They make a deep faker for your voice. Rather than putting somebody else's face on your face, you're putting somebody else's voice on your voice. But it's still your performance that drives it, unlike the stuff we did with Jake. The idea of being able to take your voice and apply it. AI mouse on top of it is pretty crazy because right now I can sound like a wizard. Rather than sounding like just some dude in SoCal. Everyone's very concerned with the ethics of using AI to replicate someone's likeness. AI technology generally isn't even at the point where you can really truly fool someone. However, Altered's AI voice algorithm might change that. It's pretty good. Today we're here to find out whether AI voice is truly at the level where it can start to fool people. So before we even get any further here, we're using Altered software. Right now they have packaged it with, I think like two dozen voices. Two dozen voice actors, which they've hired to give them a two to three hour voice data set. So today we're working with a library of pre-trained voices made from hired voice actors. So they have a really good cast of voice actors here with a bunch of different dialects and accents. So I have a great idea. So sit down and buckle up. We're gonna take our voices and transform them into famous characters. And we'll pretend to give everybody cameos from their favorite celebrities and iconic movie stars. You know, that's kind of Morgan Freeman-y. Kinda. Hello. Can we start cataloging who's who? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we need a list of characters. So first and foremost, my name is Dumbledore or Gandalf, depending on which hat I'm wearing. That's pretty good. <laughs> a bear, bear with honey is oh so funny. Yeah, that's spot on Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, now we just <laughs> need to find someone who's a fan of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Jason Statham, let's go, let's go. Anyone? Give, me, give me a Jason Statham reading. Oh, me, oh, my. I dropped my fishing chips in the loo again. Do, 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 do. Time to fish out my fish and chips from the loo. Oh, here they are. A little wet. <laughs> <laughs> Not your name, Jason Statham, but it's still really funny. All right, who talks like that? Can you go a little bit lower? You could get Michael Caine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Michael Here, just lower the piss and make do Michael no, Caine. Give, give, me a new, give me a new Michael Caine recording. Oh, little Batman here. Come here. Snuggle into my bosom. Let me wipe your tears with your money. You give me your wallet. Here, oh, there we go. This sops up all the tears real nice. How about a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> That's better. It's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You have to really speak like, you know, with his like inflection, his cadence. Hello, Hello Sam. Sam. My name is Alan Rickman, and I play Professor Snape. And your friend Nico told me that you can't wait to go to Hogwarts. So, sounds like you should stop being into the little wizard books, Sangham. I think this guy for sure was Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons? I don't even know who Jeremy Irons is. Long live the king. The bald guy is still my favorite British one because he sounds so legit. All right, give me, give me a Patrick yeah. Stewart. Give me a Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Professor X. Professor X. Here's, you want, want to take, take a, a look, look at my wheelchair? My name's Professor X, played by Patrick Stewart. This wheelchair of mine has all sorts of things. There's a snack drawer, where I put my Snickers bar between cuts, and uh, this is where I put my gun. 
on my <laughs> <laughs> That sounds pretty good. I think that sounds pretty good. Um, we need to find some more variety here, because right now it's only English actors. <laughs> you can add Dude, what about Vito. Vito, Ron. I want to do oh, Vito. Oh yeah. oh yeah, here we go. Who's, what does Vito sound like? So he's going to be Probably a gangster. Joe Pesci, yeah. Joe Robert Pesci. Hey, a long time ago, I started in this movie called Batman. I played a penguin, and they rebooted it, which sucks. The movie sucks. Are you thinking about Danny DeVito? I'm thinking about Danny DeVito. I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know nothing. Tiny guys. They're tiny Italian men. It's just Judy Dench from Mission Im or okay, from Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dean. I am Judy Dench from the movie Mission Impossible, and um, happy Monday. And now I'm gonna go drink some tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Brandy O'Daniel segment here on Corridor Crew. Now, courtesy of today's sponsor, Squarespace, we're going to be taking calls from people all over the place who can tell us about the wonders of Squarespace. Okay, for our first caller, we have John from East London. Let's see what John has to say about Squarespace. Yeah, right. So, uh, Squarespace, it's pretty great. Um, first and foremost, as everybody knows, they have beautiful award-winning templates. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting, John. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, sure. Uh, happy to do it. All right, our next caller is Frank from the southern United States. How's it going down there, Frank? Well, it's pretty good, and I gotta say that one of my favorite things about Squarespace is the members area. Now, I like to paint and sell shoes. Re wow, really? And I have a members area where each month I'm able to offer a select type of shoe to my members just through the members area only on my Squarespace website. Gee, Frank, that's wonderful to hear. You sound like a smart guy. Okay, next up we have Miss Wendy from Southern California. Let's see what she has to say. Yeah, I really like Squarespace because they now have a video studio, which allows creators to create pro-level videos effortlessly from within their Squarespace video studio. They even have a Squarespace video studio app that helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. I mean, you can do this directly from your phone. Wow, gee, Wendy, that's really great to hear. I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you're able to use the service that way. And wow, what a phenomenal new tool for all the small businesses out there. Okay, and for our last caller today, we have Vincenzo from New York City. Vincenzo, how are you, my friend? Hey, Jacob, doing real good. Thanks for uh, letting me on the air here. What I use Squarespace for is their top of the game analytics. You see, I already have a pretty robust website myself. And one of the things that I like to do is figure out where my customers are coming from, what they like to buy on my site, and, and generally how they like to navigate through my site. Vincenzo, thank you for sharing that. That's a great anecdote. All right, well, uh, you, you heard it here first. You know, don't take it from me. Take it from all the people who called in to tell you about Squarespace today. If you guys are interested in getting 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew and that's exactly what you'll get. Or just, hey, click that link in the description below uh, to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's get back to Sam and Nico who have figured out how to change their voices to sound a lot like these wonderful guests. All right, so now that we have our list of sound-alike voices, it's time to record some messages to hopefully brighten everybody's day in the studio. Hey, you got a second? Uh, yeah, I think so. We got a gift for some of the people in the office. So about. many pranks, so, so many mind games has happened in this office in the past like month. I really don't know what to expect. Yeah, expect the gift. Okay, it's a, just a gift. It's in your email. Spam? Oh, there it is. It Why straight spam? to spam. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This message <laughs> seems <laughs> dangerous. Holy shit. What have uh, you done to my, so, hey, to my email? Uh, so open that file. <laughs> yeah? All right, yeah, cool. See what this is a dot. Matthew, this is the one and only Jeremy Irons. Your pals, Sam and Nico, oh. uh, hit me up on Cameo, and I was delighted to hear from them, because apparently you are a very uh, handsome young man with oh, many talents. Oh, a bright stop. future ahead. Oh, I also heard you loved Lion King, which of course I have starred I in. Love Lion King. Um, fun, fun news here. I we are actually making another Lion King movie. I'm excited to see you in the audience. 
Hopefully. Oh. Anyways, uh, have a great wow. day. Wow. And uh, long live the king. <laughs> Ta-ta, Matthew. It's a good Lion King joke for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah we told him that you like Lion King uh -huh. and asked him to say the, the classic wow. line for you. Wow. Well, see, now I'm, I'm questioning if this is, like, actually the guy. No, no, no yeah, we yeah. have more. We got, no, we, 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 got, we got cameos for you like, think, everybody. You, yeah. you think you're the only one with a gift yeah. today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're, wow. You're spreading the cameos around, aren't <laughs> you? spreading the cheer. <laughs> the cheer. Jordan Allen, yeah. we, have, we have a present for you. This is, I'm so suspicious of y'all. What is this? Look at this smile, look at the smile he's got going on. I'm just, have you ever given someone a gift? If, if, if it's that feeling, you know? Is it maybe your spam folder? Oh, right into the spam folder. <laughs> goes straight to spam. This message seems dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Literally, you want me to do that? Oh, Jim Cummings. Do you know Jim, Jim Cummings? Cummings? Wait, what? Ooh. Who's this? I don't know who it is. Hello, Jordan. It's your friend, Winnie the Pooh. Ah, uh, your friend, Sir Nico, got a cameo for me. <laughs> Actually, this is voice actor Jim Cummings, voices of some of your favorite childhood characters. Oh. And, you know, I just want to say happy birthday. At least I hope it's your birthday. I lost the list they gave me, so I'm just going with what I know. And, uh, yeah, tell your friends to buy more cameos for me, Jim Cummings. All right, ta-ta for now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got you a cameo from Jim Cummings. Well, thank you, know, you so much. It's, Winnie the uh, Pooh? You know about Winnie the Pooh? He, okay. he played Winnie the Pooh yeah. in uh, all the Winnie the Pooh movies. Wait, Jordan, um, are you surprised? Are you like a big Winnie the Pooh fan? Uh, no. That's why I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we're really we're really striking out. Okay, we got you a gift. Oh, yeah. Oh. Spam folder. It's in your spam folder. Okay. It's not dangerous. It's, it's so it's, dangerous. it says it's, it's not dangerous. Just open it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fenner, it's a big day. You've made it all the Where's way down are? from Canada to the USA. This is your pal Morgan Freeman, and uh, your buddy Sam and Nico decided to welcome you to their new studio with a cameo from me. Now, there's a few things you're gonna have to learn about the USA that are a little different than what we do in Canada. First off, Everyone drives trucks, all right? Now you're gonna watch out for those trucks. They're gonna be zooming every which way. Second of all, you're gonna wanna look into some stalls and some stripes. Once you get them, you'll know what to do with them. Anyways, we hope you have a real good time here working on your visual effects. <laughs> I'm in some movies myself, and I might need a little VFX help, so if it's cool. <laughs> He just, starts, he just can't hold it together. I, I guess that's where it ends. It, I can't. <laughs> Did he just start laughing? Is that how it ends? He just laughs and stops? He's like squealing. That is amazing. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Would it be a good time to have you guys open your presents? Sure. Oh, uh, you're going to want to check in your spam folder, and Gmail is going to say it's dangerous. <laughs> what? It's, what? Are this is a present? Stop. Are you serious? Stop. I'm, we're, unfortunately, it is, a, it is marked as dangerous by Gmail, but don't worry. Yo, this is Joe Pesci, and uh, honestly, I never thought I'd be doing cameos like this, but honestly, Christian, I got to say, I heard your cooking's great. You know, my mama Mia, she's got a great noodle dish, too, that i always been trying to make my whole life. Never perfected it. You know, that's the thing, you know, it's family. It's always about them family dishes, am I right? Anyways, uh, so yeah, your pals, Nico, Sam, uh, they, uh, they hit me up, told me to talk to you about, you know, things you like. Um, heard you in Vegas. Yeah, we shot a movie there a few times. Uh, you seen Casino? Uh, that's a real place, actually. You can actually really gamble there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the point is, um... You know, we're wishing you all the best. You know, we're, we're all rooting, we're all rooting for you back here, man. Ah, uh, you know, all you gotta do is just put one foot in front of the other, and uh, yeah, you know, keep your chin high. All right, latest. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Pesci sent me a message. Dude, Joe Pesci's doing cameos. Isn't the dude like 107? <laughs> yeah, it's old. Is that? Yeah. That's not AI. And if it is, holy crap! If that if that is an AI generated voice, that's incredible. That was, I mean, it's Joe Pesci. This is crazy. That's an, an actor would just go his way to record that cameo for you. Check out yours. Oh, oh, I, I received a present too. You received a present too. <sighs> yeah, we got you a cameo as well. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? The, the Reaper, of course. The Reaper. <laughs> it's uh, this is Patrick Stewart. You might 
know me from such famous franchises as Stall Trek and X-Men. Uh, your pals Sam and Nico have hit me up on Cameo, which is a website for celebrities like myself to deliver you messages uh, of their choosing. And the message they choose for me to deliver is that apparently uh, you love space, physics, uh, the unknown, the cosmos, uh, but do not watch Star Trek. And, uh, you know, I'm deeply saddened up at many years of my life into that wonderful show. Uh, well, you can catch me on season three of Picard, 2023. <laughs> That's right, I'm still, I'm still acting after all these years. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, live long and prosper. Bye-bye. <laughs> I am still acting. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Sir Patrick Stewart knows that I'm into space physics. <laughs> okay, this is uh, basically voice deep faking. So you, this isn't like the descript thing where you had to yeah. type it all out yeah. and train a model. What a deep fake does is it replicates a face and creates a mask, but this is like an audio mask. Basically, an, the audio version of a deep fake. Do you guys want to try it? Let's go play with the voice some more. <laughs> All right, it's time for Make Your Own Voices. We gave everybody their cameos and we totally fooled everybody. So everyone's gonna get a turn putting on a new voice and seeing what kind of character is hiding inside of them, just waiting to come out thanks to AI. What's Montagu? Is it? <laughs> What's Montego? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by any other word, would smell as sweet. I'd buy that audio book. I would buy that audio book. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Wait, did you turn the acting bar up? <laughs> Master Wayne, ever since you are a little boy, I thought to protect you, but I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. That is actually really good. That's wow. actually really good. That's actually really good. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Visual Effects Artist React. We got a spicy episode for you today. We got some good effects, we got some bad effects. We're gonna find out right now. Let's get into it. <laughs> spicy! Wow. Whoa. I've never heard him with such energy. That was yeah. exciting. <laughs> Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise, he could use the Force to influence the Midi-Chlorians to create life. Life? <laughs> That's <laughs> really good. That's like really incredible. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth in this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? <laughs> <laughs> we have a non-native English speaker, Rodrigo, from Brazil. I'm wondering if you said something, if we could make you sound like a full-fledged American. <laughs> Good question, right? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Oh, how big is your truck, brother? I have a big truck in my house. I like my truck. It's big. A lot of real wheel spokes. And yeah, have a brother. Have a brother. I have a brother. I have a brother. What are you doing, huh? Hey, listen, you think I don't know hoggies? I know hoggies. I eat hoggies by the barrel. Look, we killed Vinny. We cut his throat because he knew too much about the hoggies. What are you throwing, man? What are you throwing? <laughs> I say hoggies? That sounds like you're in the gun. Did I say hoggies the whole time? I said hoggies, okay. <laughs> 
Why, they cry me ups to do with all this weird voice that's going on with me. I had such a normal, regular voice. And now I sound like Jason Statham in the transporter. What's going on? <laughs> oh, no. They totally you gotta out. stop smoking now. You have to stop smoking now. <laughs> oh, no. So there you have it, fun and games with cutting edge technology. Thanks to Altered.ai for hooking us up with the software so we can play with it a little bit here. We have a lot of crazy experiments we're going to try with this. If you guys have any kooky ideas, feel free to leave some comments down below and subscribe so you don't miss where we're gonna take this tech. Maybe this tired outro is actually gonna be another accent. I don't know, but it could be done after the fact. So we'll see. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I sound cool. Later. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some hoggies, huh? <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>